If you've ever explored the privacy settings in your browser, you've likely come across a setting related to do not track. Let's talk about what this is. I'll show you exactly what this setting does, and then we'll talk about how Microsoft killed it. DNT or do not track was proposed by the EFF in 2009. It would be implemented by your browser sending an additional header to the website that you are visiting, indicating that you wished not to be tracked. The W3C standard for DNT explicitly stated that it's only used when the user made a deliberate choice to enable it. While this feature had the best of intentions, some early studies indicated that it was largely being ignored by the tracking industry. Before we continue, let's take a look at exactly how DNT works. So here I am on my website, sideofburritos.com. I currently have the Do Not Track setting enabled in my browser. If we right click, go to Inspect, go to the Network tab, and then refresh the website, we're going to select the initial request. And if we scroll down to the section labeled Request Headers, we can see a header here called DNT with a value of 1. So when you have this setting enabled in your browser, your browser will then send the DNT header on all requests indicating that you have it enabled. And now if I disable the do not track setting, I go back to the same page we were just on, refresh the page again, click on the newest request, we scroll down to the request headers, and we no longer see that DNT header. 13 years later in 2022, this feature is actually having the opposite effect of what it originally intended. So since so few users had this feature enabled, and it's making little to no difference in preventing tracking, companies and marketers are using the DNT header we saw in the demonstration as another way to track visitors. So instead of helping you, it's hurting you by actually creating an additional data point that can be used to fingerprint you. The last reason not to use it is that Microsoft killed it. As I mentioned, the W3C standard stated that this feature had to be a deliberate choice by the user. In 2012, Internet Explorer 10 was released with DNT enabled by default, which violated the standard and gave the tracking industry a reason to officially ignore it, since it could no longer be assumed the user enabled the feature. In May 2014, Yahoo announced they would stop supporting the Do Not Track privacy header, and in the years following, Google, Facebook, and Twitter made similar announcements. More recently, in 2019, Apple removed the DNT feature from their Safari browser completely. I remember when this feature was originally announced, and I was pretty excited we were finally making some progress in terms of user privacy. As we can see now, the feature is dead, and it can actually cause more harm than good. So make sure you don't have it enabled in your browser, and if you do, I would suggest disabling it. And I'll leave links down below in the description on how you can verify in popular browsers whether or not you have this setting enabled.